Oh, hey, look, it's the weekend. So do you, do you have any plans? Do you, do you, you want to talk about, you want to talk about tech news maybe? Because uh, I love tech news. <laughs> what do you? YouTube started sharing ad revenue with short creators this week, and I'm not talking about Linus. All the revenue YouTube makes on ads in the shorts feed will be pooled and split monthly between short creators based on their percentage of viewership within their country. For example, if a mustachioed Canadian tech newsman hosted a short about fish committing fraud that was written by an equally handsome Jesus lookalike, those two babes would be able to get a cut of the US creator pool if their short was watched in the country. That's <laughs> we did a short. There are some weird caveats to this system though. YouTube is only sharing revenue from ads that play between shorts. So if your viewing session starts or ends on an ad, those ads revenue might not be pooled. Same thing for ads on pages for hashtags or reusable sounds, which frankly doesn't make any ad sense. Ha! That. <laughs> oh, but what are we gonna do? Switch to TikTok? Not if they get banned from Google and Apple's app stores, which a bipartisan group of US lawmakers is trying to accomplish. In defense, TikTok has created a transparency center where third parties can review the app's source code, provided they sign an NDA and go through metal detectors and block their phone in a storage locker. But otherwise, other than that, they're being fully transparent. I mean, they told us their entire morning routine in 2008. <laughs> We didn't ask. They wake up in the morning feeling like P. Diddy. <laughs> AMD has been holding on to some product supply by undershipping CPUs and GPUs. Team Red says they're doing this to balance supply with demand so the poor shelf stockers don't have to find space for all those extra components. They've been asking for this. Don't think of your shelf. <laughs> There's just too much stuff on the shelf, please. AMD couldn't possibly be doing this to keep prices high. I mean, when supply is larger than demand, prices, I mean, everyone, nothing happens to them, everyone. While undershipping is not an uncommon tactic in the industry, AMD is doing all right in other areas without keeping PC chip prices elevated. See, while AMD is struggling in their PC chip revenue, they are still doing well due to their data center business increasing by 42% but other chip manufacturers uh, can't say the same. Intel had a larger decline in PC chip sales than AMD, and they also lost 33% in data center sales compared to where they were a year ago. Apple and Qualcomm are also both down nearly across the board from where they were this time last year. Probably because we're not all locked inside and sad anymore. Now we're back outside and sad. It's nice to see the trees while I cry. <laughs> and Elon Musk, known on the street as El Pajaro Azul, Announced today that any creators on Twitter will get a piece of the revenue generated from ads that appear in their reply threads. Of course, he couldn't just give that to any creator, so it'll only be ones that are subscribed to Twitter Blue. Dabba dee, dabba die. Dabba dee, bada bye. That wasn't right. But. Sure, that might sound like a bad deal since Twitter Blue will cost you $8 a month, but your ad revenue is only limited by how many reply guys you've collected. They're like Pokemon, they show up. In, well, Ned's gone now. In the tall grass. For a small upfront recurring fee, you could run a small business where you get to be your own boss. Wait, why does that sound so familiar? Anyway, it was also announced that Twitter will no longer allow free access to their API. Elon says this is to stop bot scammers and opinion manipulators, and I agree with him. <laughs> scammers can't afford to pay for the API. Where would they get the money from? Scamming people? And if you want to manipulate opinions on Twitter, you need to pay to run ads or buy a gold check mark like Daddy Musk intended. Speaking of check marks, Elon has reiterated his desire to remove legacy check marks, perhaps to further encourage tweeters to buy blue. For just $8 a month, just the price of a Starbucks coffee, you can help a billionaire pay his legal fees from all the ex staff currently suing him. Please, give generously. And the arms. <laughs> now it's time for Quick Fits, brought to you by Manscaped. Their all new ultra premium collection is an all-in-one skin and hair care kit designed to keep the everyday man covered from head to toe. Treat your butt, balls, and body, they're separate I guess, to something nice with their shampoo, body wash, spray, and deodorant. Maintenance is made simple with Manscaped. And best of all, all Manscaped's products in the ultra premium collection are cruelty free, paraben free, and vegan. <laughs> Pew, pew, pew. Yeah. Vegan lasers. <laughs> Go to manscaped.com and use promo code TECH for 20% off your order, plus free international shipping. Mr. Worldwide. Good job, Jacob. Thanks. <laughs> you know, not a lot of people know this, but QuickBits is short 
for Bisquick Biscuits. No one knows why. <laughs> Netflix revealed an anti-password sharing feature in a Help Center article that would require users to connect to the same home Wi-Fi network every 31 days. And oh boy, did that go poorly. The streaming company claims it was an accident. See, they've been testing paid sharing in some Latin American countries over the last year, and they said this information was just for them. So you don't need to worry about the shareholder letter that says they're going to start rolling out the same paid sharing to other countries within the next two months. It probably won't be yours, because you're their favorite. <laughs> they like you better than... <laughs> Massive numbers of scammers are tricking people into downloading malware. Yes. That just happens all the time. <laughs> but this one is different. They accomplished this by spoofing real brands and using Google's ad placement on their search engine to grab clicks. This marks the first time in history anyone has benefited from Google ads. <laughs> While this has been going on for some time, there has been a recent dangerous spike of malvertising using malware that can escape most antivirus solutions. Researchers believe this is because the malware ran track in high school. He's so fast! How does he... Put that boy in the, the, on the sports team. <laughs> <laughs> the Xbox 360 marketplace is not shutting down. Another, another news thing that just... Why is it news? I'll tell you. After stating they were committed to supporting their legacy, users on Reset Era found an official support article from Microsoft saying that the marketplace would close within the next year, marking a 180 from their previous statements. Microsoft then clarified that this was actually not the case, coming back around to their original position. There's a theme with the stories today. We're gonna announce something and there's, oh, just kidding. Maybe that's why Nintendo is still closing their 3DS and Wii U eShops. Only Microsoft can make an Xbox 360. Never forget that. You get it? Nope. Because they made 180 and then they made another 180? Oh. Blizzard wants you to choose your friends carefully, announcing that they will not only punish cheaters in Overwatch 2, but also any of their potential pals. In a blog post, the game publisher stated that they will begin suspending, or in some cases even banning, players who willingly group up regularly with cheaters. It's gonna be interesting to see how this goes. There's gonna be a lot of kids that are going to have a harder time re-establishing a relationship with their unfaithful dads after what they did to their moms. The, the dads, okay, cut it, cut it before I say that, it sounds weird. And officials in the US are still determining what to do about a Chinese high altitude balloon that has drifted all the way into Missouri after a brief stint over Western Canada. We call that Shanghai drifting. <laughs> High-ranking American officials have said they suspect the balloon is for spying purposes, with some prominent Republicans calling for it to be, of course, shot down. But the Pentagon says that might be too dangerous, and if it is a spy balloon, it's less capable than the surveillance satellites that China already uses. However, the Department of Defense doesn't buy China's claim that it's actually a civilian weather research airship that simply blew off course, a story that weather experts have said is not unfeasible. <laughs> so confident. I mean, said experts didn't comment on whether this whole thing could be an elaborate Chinese prank. There might just be confetti in there. And it's not unfeasible that there will be another tech link on Monday, because there will be. It's, it's quite feasible. It's, we do one every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So it's-, it's Come it's, see it's it! Very feas- 